Hey, it's your boy, Papa Beach. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Gogeta. Is Gogeta evil? Hell no. Nah, I don't think Gogeta evil, but there's a chance that he might be evil. Now, when it comes down to Gogeta, Gogeta is a character that we pretty much have seen a long time ago. I'm one of those Dragon Ball fans from back in the day, and I have to be honest with you, I've known about Gogeta since a long time, dog. Like, for example, I'm one of those guys that when I was in school, I used to print out pi pictures of Dragon Ball back in the day, and the guys who come from where I come from in terms of growing up, like, because I grew up in the 90s, bro... You knew what we did with those pictures. There was all kind of websites back then with so many cool pictures. And when it comes down to like, you know, Gogeta and Vegito, they were two characters that we wanted to see. Now, back in the 90s, Dragon Ball got popular like late 90s, early 2000s. So we're talking about 2000. We're talking about like mm, 1998, 1999, 2000. Around that time, we were all printing out pictures of Dragon Ball characters. Now, when it comes down to it, I didn't know who Gogeta and Vegito was because I was um like still looking at like how can I put this what what the Freezer Saga because there was a time there was a cutoff point with the Freezer Saga back in the day we used to watch like um basically um what we call the ocean dub the ocean dub would play from episode one all the way up to Goku arriving on planet Namek and then it'd start back over again and those out there you remember because I remember it used to start back over again and finally Toonami said they were going to have new episodes of Dragon Ball Z and it finally happened and then Funimation picked it up and continued the series with their dub not saying the ocean dub did not have have or, or did the rest of the series but for some reason it cut off like right at the freezer saga in that time and then all of a sudden uh, Funimation picked it up and ran with it and we at the time was just looking at the freezer saga and the cell saga and we was looking at trunks we was like what the hell you know like those guys and then boo would pop up here and there you know cell and everything it was really up to sell next thing you know we start hearing about boo hearing about you know uh vegeto and gogeta and hearing about Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you know, and it's like, you can't wait to see those things, because at the time, we were waiting on Super Saiyan, and then all of a sudden, Super Saiyan 2 was coming when he fought Cell, when we Gohan fought Cell, and then Super Saiyan 3 was coming when Goku fought Boo, so it was like, dang, I can't wait to see this, and Trunks was coming, but he was going to kill Frieza, and it was like, how the hell he going to kill Frieza, when he pretty much, you know, Goku killed Frieza, but you know, it's just a whole, it's just a whole bunch of stuff uh, along that line, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, Gogeta and Vegito, they were transformations I didn't understand, I thought they were brand new characters but they said no it's goku and vegeta whenever they fuse and it was like okay they're both goku and vegeta when they fuse it's like hell yeah so i was like how the hell they both goku and vegeta when they fuse and then um you find it's pretty much like oh different fusions like whenever they put on the earrings they become vegeto whenever they do the finger fusion they become gogeta and at the time you're thinking to yourself oh well damn you know i guess that's i guess that's you know it's just just that whole thing so <laughs> basically when it comes down to it I was looking at them very confusing, and then I found out what they were, and I, you know, like how they came together, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And the thing is, you find out Gogeta is not canon, Vegito's canon, but not Gogeta, and it's like, okay, what the hell? When did this happen? Because I mean, you got to remember, I grew up in a generation where GT was canon to us. GT was canon to us. And then here comes Super, and then it was like, okay, Super is the real sequel. GT is non-canon. Okay, so you find out not only is GT non-canon, the movies are non-canon. And then it's like, okay, the movies are non-canon, so that means that Gogeta's non-canon, Broly is non-canon, all these characters are non-canon. A lot of cool characters are non-canon. Hell, Picon was in the series and he's non-canon. <laughs> So what I'm trying to say is when it comes down to it with Gogeta, with Gogeta, is Gogeta evil? There's a chance. I don't think he's evil. When I think, how can I put this with Gogeta? <sighs> Gogeta has a lot of Vegeta in him. Even though he got Go in his first name in the beginning, he has a lot of Vegeta. He looks more like Goku. He's taller like Goku. But at the end of the day, he is probably got the Vegeta thing. Goku will forgive you or take time, but Vegeta will kill you instantly and wouldn't care about it. And I think Gogeta, like Vegeta, will kill you and wouldn't care about it. Where Vegito, the thing is, Vegito has that instinct too. And you're looking at Vegito like, okay, Vegito, he's more like Vegeta. But really, if you had to be honest, he's really more Goku with a little bit of Vegeta there. And, but Vegeta, Vegito will kill you too, but at the same time, Vegito didn't kill Boo and he didn't kill Zamatsu. Now, he tried to actually kill Zamatsu, but, um, I guess the time ran out. The whole thing is, is that Gogeta being evil, a lot of fans are going on with that. Um, it, talking about the fact that, okay, Broly was technically like, he's technically mentally disturbed. He has the mind of a child. And for Gogeta to beat the hell out of him, he's wrong. No, Broly went crazy. Okay, Broly went fool. Broly was powerful. Broly came there with Frieza. Frieza is a known enemy. And they sent, Broly came there to attack them and destroy Earth potentially. They had to do what they had to do to stop him. Now, the killing is a little different. 
in terms of Gogeta, Gogeta already knew he won. So it was like it, it was he beat the hell out of Broly. It was it was a done deal. He he pretty much just um overkill that man. So it was like, okay, why would you kill him when you obviously can tell his power is leaving him? You whooped his ass, right? You you done it. But the whole thing was that, you know, he went ahead to kill him anyway. So it, it it makes you think like, okay, was he evil? Now, I don't think he was evil for beating up Broly, but the whole thing, I'm going to kill your ass type of situation. Now, that's a little different because he was about to kill Broly. Broly was going to die. If it wasn't for the wish, if it wasn't for the Dragon Balls, Broly would have been dead. Now, Goku would have still probably wished Broly back because he would have said, you know, he's actually not a bad guy. He just was in like he was put in a situation where he was being told to do by Frieza and what his father said. So I don't think Broly really was a bad guy because you can tell Goku was talking with him when they were fighting that Broly really wasn't bad because Broly was like kind of listening to him. But the whole thing is that, you know, I think Goku would have wished him back if Broly would have died. He would have brought Broly, Broly back. But is Gogeta evil? Hell, nah, and potentially, yeah. Let me tell you something about Gogeta. There are warriors in this world, in this his in the world history, and there's warriors and ideals. When you have an enemy, when you have an enemy, you kill them. It doesn't matter what they deal with. It doesn't matter who they are. They are there to fight you. They're there to take you down. You kill them. So Gogeta may have that mindset where he's just going to kill you. And he does not care what you're dealing with. He doesn't care who you are. You are here to fight him. You're here to stop him. You're here to kill him. He's looking at it like, well, I'm going to kill you. So that whole thing may be Gogeta's thing. So is Gogeta evil? No, because Frieza was pretty much there and looking at Gogeta. And he was like, look at what you go. Go Gogeta was like, look at what you did. And, you know, it, it was it was a scenario that. So, um, so is Gogeta evil? Hell to the nod. I just want to say that's pretty much what I think. But I just want to say it's your boy. Bobby Beast here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Go right ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and like my other Dragon Ball content. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down and one.